we do teach others how to treat us. We teach others how to love us. This is Tammy C. Walker, the owner of Dreams Are a Reality. I created this channel to provide much light and love. I am polishing my nails and I hope and pray that it's not disturbing this podcast. But I want to, it just hit my mind. I was looking at some positive quotes and one was saying the love that we have for ourselves. That's how we teach others how to treat us. Before I get started, thank you new subscribers. Please hit the like button, everyone. And if you've been coming to my channel, enjoying my shorts as well as my videos and my podcast, be so kind as to subscribe, please. Thank you all in advance. Um, teaching others how to treat us. What is that all about? What exactly does that mean? Some people, they'll say, oh, I'm looking for, you know, a guy to treat me well. I want to be taken out for dinner or lunch or, you know, take, take me, have a picnic, you know, make a picnic. You all know what I mean. Take me to the park and have a picnic basket with wine and cheese and food and chocolate covered strawberries. I want this. I want that. You know what? You could do some of that stuff for yourself. Um, a thing I started doing is always buying myself flowers. Uh, really, not. Uh, I like flowers. I think they add a bit of a sparkle to your home. But it's also a way of acknowledging myself. You know, I deserve these flowers because I work hard. You don't need an explanation why you have to buy yourself flowers. Just buy them. Um, same with dinner. Go out with a friend. Treat yourself to a nice dinner. Take your friend out and treat him or her to a nice dinner, a meal. Uh, do things for yourself. Don't wait on someone else to do it. Uh, and also, if you're not doing self-care or even taking care of your hygiene or your appearance, it's a lot to ask of somebody else to come along and do you know, all this, these great things for you. But normally, you don't even take care of yourself. This is how people, when they meet you, they know what to do. They come to your home. It's clean. They see you. You look well put together. Um, you're not, you know, you're not not taking care of yourself. Rushing around, missing um, appointments, um, you know, missing work. You're not sloppy. You're together. And so what, what do they think when they see this about you? Man or woman, it's, this is not gender specific. They think like this is a together lady or man and I got to get in line because me personally, if I meet a guy and he's very well put together, he's a smart gentleman, he's polite, his hygiene is, you know, on point and I'm going to present my best self. I know I can't come to him in a sloppy manner. I know that I have to come to him you know, with my best, which is the way I try to present myself to everyone as well as to myself. But sometimes we expect what we're not. And um, it's really, it doesn't kind of make sense and it's, it's false advertisement. So have you ever heard this one? Mm, there's not any good men out here, I could tell. And then they'll meet somebody decent and they'll tear the guy down. I've seen this done. I've seen this done. The guy be a decent guy, whatever. Nah, I didn't like this. I didn't like that. And it'll be like minor stuff. And you're like, okay. Sometimes we got to get real with ourselves. Do we really, do we really want a relationship? Or are we just saying that because it sounds good? Or we were in long-term relationships and we say it. Because, I, you know, I'm guilty like some people. It is scary out here. Um, it's hard to be vulnerable. And I think for me, you know, my biggest thing, I just don't have time to waste. I, I don't like playing games. My style is the straight shooter style. I was always like this. It's not nothing new. And, you know, sometimes when you're a brutally honest person, never rude, but I'm just... 
I just never was that game player. I guess I, I kind of got this from my parents. My parents were nearly 29 years to my dad's passing. Um, I just, a, you know, more of a loyal. Just want to be in a relationship and keep it moving. I, I don't like a whole lot of game plan or silliness. Never understood cheating when you're dating. Why well, you got to cheat? We're not married. Do what you want. Just be honest. Be like, right now, I don't want to be in anything serious. I'm just, you know, dating, trying to figure things out. It, honesty is always best, but when you play games, it just doesn't work. But I think we have to be clear on what we really want. Don't say there are no good men out here, and then you meet somebody cool and you tear them down. Yeah, I get it. Everybody's not going to be our match. I'm not going to be everybody's cup of coffee. That part never bothers me, but... You know, sometimes we can be a little hard on people. Is that fear? Is that fear talking? Fear will talk you out of your biggest dream. Fear will talk you out of a good relationship. Fear will talk you out of, you know, you can be with a great woman. And that fear gets to buzzing in your ear. And next thing you know, you're sabotaging a good relationship. Another thing I want to talk about, which... It's not really pertaining to the title of this podcast, but it is still talking about relationship stuff. If you do have someone special in your life, someone you know, <laughs> you know, you, all of us, a lot of us can meet certain type of people. And to me, from, from my experience and love, over 30 plus years this certain type of men that I have met they you know what they just don't come around all the time they're special they're caring they're smart they're fine <laughs> they care about their health they care about people they care about their family most importantly they care about you and when you meet that type of woman and or man you need to be holding on to them for dear life. We take people for granted. You think they're replaceable. Oh, that's fine. I'll just meet somebody else once I'm ready to date. She ain't me. She ain't going to be you. He is not going to be you. He ain't you. Love the one you're with. Treat them like the royalty that they are. Meeting somebody special and wonderful and caring and loving is a blessing from God. Honey to the baby. You all know what's out here. The horror stories I hear about crazy men and um, crazy women. I hear both. It is not, um, <laughs> I, I don't want to do gloom and doom on this podcast, but it's, it's challenging. So stop doing that to these beautiful souls you're meeting. Put down the fear and take a chance on love. Love ain't nothing but a big old gamble. And you got to be vulnerable to love. If I tell you what, for me. I never had a feeling like love. It's a beautiful feeling when you know that your partner has your back and you and that person can travel together, can go for long walks together, can have a meal together, um, can sit on the couch and giggle together, can make love can attend events together, weddings, graduations, baby showers, whatever. It's nothing better than having a partner that truly loves you. But the first order is you gotta love yourself because we cannot expect people to be our everything and come along and love us when we don't love ourselves. It's hypocritical. So that's all I wanted to say. I hope something I said helped you. 
and I'll be back with another video, podcast, short, something. Have a great day. God bless you all. Bye.